today we will be talking about the sliding filament theory. What is the sliding filament theory? Well, the sliding filament theory explains the mechanism of muscle contraction based on muscle proteins that slide past each other to generate movement. Here we have Bob. Yes, his name is Bob. And he's curling a 100 pound weight. In order for him to do this, he needs to contract and relax his muscles. Today, we will be using the sliding filament theory to help us explain why he can do this. First thing we need to know is that our skeletal muscles move involuntarily. For this reason, our central nervous system needs to send a signal to the peripheral nervous system in order for this whole process to begin. The signal continues to travel down the axon branch into the myelin sheath, which kind of look like baby sausages. Then they go all the way to the axon branches or we leave off at the neuromuscular junction. Here we have our axon and axon terminal. The signal is carried through the terminal via the acetylcholine towards the sarcolemma. Attached to the sarcolemma are tiny receptors that take the ACH to each muscle fiber. Acetylcholine causes the sarcoplasmic reticulum to release calcium ions from the terminal. Now that we have calcium, it is able to make its way to the actin site. Here, actin is surrounded by tropomyosin which blocks the interaction between the actin and the myosin. However, because we have calcium, the tropomyosin slowly swivels away, exposing the bonding sites for myosin and actin. Now, in order for the calcium to do its job, we need energy. This is known as adenosine triphosphate, ATP. This attaches to the myosin and breaks down in order for a contraction to occur. This causes the power stroke and the sliding of actin along with the myosin to occur. Once you decide to stop the activation, calcium will be removed into the sarcoplasmic reticulum. The tropomyosin will then cover the binding sites for myosin on the actin filament and the muscles will return to a resting state. Well, we hope you learned a little bit about how muscles relax and contract. Now we know how Bob was able to curl his biceps. Thanks for watching!